Hello everyone, myself Jasmine Anand. I have been associated with IPGA Student Forum since three years now and I must say it has been a journey. We strive hard each time to bring to you more and more informative videos and this time too we have brought to you a much awaited and a very useful video. So have you ever wondered what after B Pharm? Have you stayed up all night researching about different career options after B Pharm? So, as you must have already read from the title of our video that we have got you sorted. We are here with a video today about different career options you can pursue after your Bachelor's of Pharmacy. So, let's get started. So, the first option we have here is the production. Being a pharmacist, you can always explore the production and manufacturing aspect. What all you can do in it? You can delve into the productions of formulations, bulk drugs, cosmetics, medical devices, parenterals, raw materials, galenicals, etc. I must mention here that for being an expert cosmetologist, you need to do an M farm in either pharmaceutics or industrial pharmacy. What we have next is a drugstore pharmacist. What are the different roles that you can offer as a drugstore pharmacist? You can help in distribution, wholesale, retail. You can help in maintaining the patient history. That means it is a repository of information of a single patient. You can always help in clinical services and various other aspects. Next up we have is academics. Of course, being in any profession, you can always explore the academic area. So what all you can do in that? You can delve into teaching, research, higher study, PhDs or be a consultant. Now, what is a consultant pharmacist? A consultant pharmacist helps in providing expert advice on the use of medications or on the provisions of pharmacy services to medical institutions and individual patients as well. So, this is a very lucrative career option after pharmacy. What next we have is a military pharmacist. I don't know if many of you know this, but a military pharmacist is also a legit profession you can delve into. What all you can be? You can be an army, ph army pharmacist, air force pharmacist and a navy pharmacist. So the next option we have up here is the marketing. In the marketing aspect of pharmacy, you can always help in the sales management, marketing management, campaign management for a particular company or a firm related to the healthcare or medical devices, promotion strategies, advertising, product management and of course market research. Next option what we have is being a community pharmacist. What all can you do being a community pharmacist? You can help in therapeutic monitoring, patient counselling, compounding and dispensing of drugs, drug information and always help in maintaining patient records and history. Next up we have is material management. What all you can manage being in the pharmacy profession in, with respect to the different materials in stores, warehouses, what are the costing, purchasing and product and planning of inventory control. These are the various options you can delve into under material management. What are the different opportunities abroad? So all of you who always dream of flying abroad or going to the other countries, foreign countries and making your career out there, what are the different opportunities there? It can be research, it can be academics, you go to the masters for the masters to different countries, you can be a drugstore pharmacist there, a pharmacy manager. You can be a consultant as I have already told you. You can always help in the research and development industry and the production aspects. So all of these options are also open to you overseas. Next up we have is higher education. So all of you who want to even do masters or other degrees after your bachelors there is no stopping here. You can still pursue your higher education. What are the different degrees you can pursue? You can always pursue MPharm that is Masters of Pharmacy, MS that is Master of Sciences, MBA that is Masters of Business Administration, MTech, LLB, PhD in any one of the subjects you love studying, Biotechnology, Bioinformatics or you can always go in, into the regulatory affairs. Next up we have is hospital pharmacist. Now what all are the roles you can offer being a hospital pharmacist? You can always delve into patient care, 
recommendation of drug therapies, document and report maintenance, examination of reports, a nutritional consultant, compounding and dispensing of drugs. These are the different roles that you will have to offer being a hospital pharmacist. Now, what are the different areas being a pharmacy, having holding a degree of bachelor's of pharmacy, you can go into the R&D sector and can do. You can help in the new drug discovery, molecular biology, bioinformatics, toxicology. So all these, what I'm telling you right here, are the different areas in R&D you can always delve into on the basis of your interest. So it, it could be herbal research, it could be tissue culture, etc. What else? The next option we have is a very interesting one. You can be a nuclear pharmacist. Being a nuclear pharmacist, what are the different areas that you can work in? You can work in hospitals, radio pharmaceuticals, dispensing officer is also an option in radiation safety, radioactive diagnostics and imaging center. So this is one area you should definitely research about and know more about it. Next up, what we have is quality control. Being a student of bachelors of pharmacy, all of us know what quality control is. It helps, it, what, are, what are the different areas in quality control you can delve into? You can delve into biostatistics, documentation, GMP, goods and manufacturing practices, method development, you can always help in the quality assurance of drugs and different products and quality control, right? That is QC and QA. Next up we have is a drug information specialist. Now what is a drug information specialist and what all other things you need to do being a drug information specialist? What you do is basically you do the database researching for any particular drug or a company, data development, pack inserts, scientific literature reviewer. You can also be a scientific literature reviewer right and you can help in public awareness that is always a thing being a pharmacy professional or being a healthcare professional you can delve into public awareness now for all of you here who always wanted that extra security and that extra uh, feather in your career of having a government job are there any government jobs in pharmacy definitely what all you can do you can always help in government hospitals, in FDA, being a government analyst, a specialist in ICMR, a CDRI or in excise department. These are all the areas you can find government jobs after doing BFARM. Next up we have is maintaining documentation. That is about patient screening, documentation for GMP, ISO, FDA, NDA, all these organizations, in IPR organization, all of these require documentations. Right, what is the next career option we have? Entrepreneurship. So all of you innovative minds who already dream of getting a business or being a big business tycoon in your future, B Farm is the career for you. So what all you can do is, you can always start your own pharma unit, you can help in the retail and wholesale area and also the loan licensing and have your own testing lab. So these are the different areas you can be an entrepreneur in. Other than that, you're very innovative, very creative, you can always think of what are the different areas in the healthcare and pharmacy sector you can have your own business in. So run that business mind of yours. Apart from that, you can always help in consulting. I've already told you what a consultant is in pharmacy profession. Now, I'm going to tell you what are the different roles as a consultant you can play. You can help in method development, in problem solving, in data processing and project handling for your own company or for any firm. Now, what is a critical care pharmacist? Being a critical care pharmacist, basically you are a pharmacist about a specific, in specific area as in you can be a cardiology pharmacist, you can be a pediatric pharmacist that is for small ch children, you can be a neurotrauma pharmacist, an ICU pharmacist or an, an oncology pharmacist. So these are the areas you need to be specialist at and be a pharmacist in. All right. Next up, we have FND, that is formulation and development, and Galenicals research. 
What are room pharmacists? Being a room pharmacist, you can always handle the pre-operative care or you can be an operation room organizer. Lastly, we have the other options. What are the other options or some allied fields related to pharmacy? They can be, you can help in medical transcription, technical support devices, project management, journalism. Journalism is such a lucrative career. If you are good at creative writing and always wanted to do that journalism degree but ended up in science, don't worry. We can club these two things together and you can always be a journalist after doing B farm. You can help in medical coding. You can have your own pharmacy. You can help in poison control center, national health mission, national health programs, CADD, logistics, etc. So, hope you found this helpful and at least one of these things interested you and you found your answers about what to do after B farm. So, just do your research and don't worry. You will always end up doing what you're interested in. Trust me, all of these things are just a direction to you and you will always find your own path. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this video a little bit helpful and we answered at least some of your questions, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you wish to stay more connected with us, please follow us on our different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and even LinkedIn. The links to all our social media handles are given in the description box below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.